If you're like me you're, and you're logging out of multiple uh, websites, looking at data, looking at analytics, looking at social media, looking at who's following who, looking at a whole bunch of different things, fresh books, uh, your accounting software, QuickBooks, you're going in and out of multiple websites, you got multiple tabs open, trying to find all the data that you need on a daily basis, look no further. Because I'm about to introduce you to a website called Syfe. C-Y-F-E dot com. So let's take a look. So we're over here on C-Y-F-E dot com and you'll need to create an account. It is free. It is a freemium model. So you can start off for free. I think you get up to five boards or five uh, widgets on uh, one board and I think you can have two boards to start off with. Some of the uh, data connections you won't be able to get access to unless you upgrade to other uh, plans. I'm actually on the premium so you get everything. So uh, I think you wanna go, if you're really interested in all of these dashboards I'm gonna be showing you, I think premium is the way to go. But I'll leave that up to you. You don't have to, but you do need to create an account. So create your account, then log in. You'll be looking at a blank uh, area, blank area screen. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to the plus sign. And I'll zoom in a bit so you can see this. Click on a new dashboard. Give your dashboard a name. And I'll just do three for the purposes of this demonstration. Click on add dashboard. And then it'll prompt you to add a widget. Some of these widgets will not be fr will not be available for the free account, but you can certainly add uh, a few of them to get a taste of what Scythe can do. And we're going to do that right here. So uh, there are over I think there is around 78, 80 uh, widgets that you can uh, put data into your dashboards. And for instance, we can go down here and we can do email. And they have Constant Contact, MailChimp, Aweber. So uh, we have uh, MailChimp. So we're going to configure our widget. It's going to ask you for your account. So you would add in Add Account, uh, go over to the MailChimp, log in, and then it'll take you back to the website. When you've got that set, it'll uh, put in your your account here and then you can select if you want a specific campaign or if you just want a generalized list and that's what we'll do here and we'll save widget and so this is going to show one of our lists so we got that widget now we can arrange this anywhere on the dashboard we want we could put it right in the middle we can make it gigantic if we want or we can make it really small so I like them about that size, but you know, it's all up to you. Then we'll add in a, uh, another widget. And I think for this one, we're gonna do social media and we'll do our bit.ly links. Configure widget, same process again. It'll open up um, a pop-out. So make sure you have, uh, you know, the pop-outs not blocked. Pop-ups are not blocked on your browser so that you can get this done add your account and then we already have it set up and it'll populate here and it'll say well do you want to look at a particular link or do you want to look at all links and I'm going to say all links and you can give it a title too I just keep it as bit.ly because that way I'll know what it is so see here we have the ebb and flow of, of click throughs uh, to various uh, social media things that we're sharing let's add uh, another one so this is a lot of fun. So once you get all your dashboard together, you, you know, if you have the premium account, you can switch between dashboards from dashboards. Let's do web analytics. So we can do Google Analytics here. Uh, configure your widget. Add in your Google account. I already have that set up. Uh, you can select which website you want. Let's add in istacenter.org. You can do an overview. You can do users, sessions, uh, campaigns is always fun. I like to do the campaigns, you know, when we have our um, campaigns going. They're down here. 
But I think just for showing you, we'll just do overview and then you can also do segmentations. So you can say either just mobile users, non-user, new users, organic traffic and what have you. And we'll just do none. We'll just say save widget. Okay, there we go. So now we have Google Annex. We have page views versus sessions. Just like that. So I've added in on another dashboard, uh, I've added in uh, my FreshBooks account, I've added in PayPal, I've added in Stripe, I've added in a whole bunch of different uh, data points. And now I don't have to go to Stripe, I don't have to go to PayPal, I don't have to go to Google Analytics, I don't have to go to uh, uh, WordPress. It does have a WordPress thing that you have to install the Scythe plugin. Haven't tested that out. If you have, post in the comments below. And now I just focus on one website where all that data is collected. Now, the other question you might have is, well, this is great for me, but how do I share it to my team? Well, it does have the capability. I can do a public URL. I can, sh I can share it out to uh, public entities. I can put it in TV boat, so I can put it up on a TV that you have uh, that's uh, connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, I can export the dashboard. So this is how you would probably share it with your team. If you wanted to do in various formats, if you just want to do a report type of thing, if you want to share it to a client, you just do a PDF. If you wanted to share it to your team that wanted to dive into the data, you do a CSV. You can even do an individual widgets and you can schedule an email. So again, a client basis, you say every Tuesday, you're going to get this report and then Scythe will do it automatically for you. So I highly recommend that you check out Scythe, C-Y-F-E.com. Let me know what you think. Post in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to share it with your colleagues and friends. And I'll see you in the next video.